Warriors NRL Fanatics here back today with a video and this is a bit of news in regards to the club at the moment so let's get into it so reported last night on a Fox Sports NRL a 360 which is a show here in Australia uh, that the Warriors were, were offered Sean Johnson you know to to return back to the club and the club has turned down that offer to get Sean Johnson back They've said that they didn't want him back in the um yeah the the players were asked around by the club as well and all the players said that they didn't want him back so you know big big surprise there I didn't I didn't think you know the um Sharks would actually offer Sean Johnson um offer Sean Johnson to uh, to the Warriors but a big surprise there not not really surprised by the Warriors uh, management saying they don't want him don't want him um don't want him back but you know Sean Johnson's a good player um he's had a couple of years now at Cronulla I think he hasn't really delivered yet and um you know he's had some injuries as well Sean Johnson and you know when he's on Sean Johnson he can have he can be a very very dangerous and good player but you know he can be a little bit inconsistent o over the years you know when you know, as a Warriors fan, you know, I really enjoyed having Sean Johnson at the club. He was my favourite player, and I was very gutted when he um, decided to go to Cronulla. He decided to leave because the club didn't really want him because they said, you know, you can explore other options and all that, and that's what Sean Johnson did. He explored other options. He went to Cronulla, and, you know, and and the rest was history, and he's, and he's at Cronulla. But, you know, um... This news around Warriors turning down Sean Johnson. Now, my thoughts are, now, people will be very, very upset with this, but I know a lot of people would love to have Sean Johnson back. Don't get me wrong. Yes, it'd be nice to have Sean Johnson at the club because, you know, he's a he's a former Warriors player. He's a Kiwi, and he, he, he started off his career at the Warriors. But, you know, look, I... I I think that, you know, it's time to move on from the past. I mean, you know, he, he was a player here for the Warriors in the past. And a lot of people, when he was at the Warriors, criticised Sean Johnson every time. Now, when we lose a game, the, bl the blame was completely on Sean Johnson. Oh, I thought, you know, he completely didn't deserve the criticism. In my opinion, I thought he didn't deserve it. You know, it was basically the whole team, not just Sean Johnson, not just one player. He copped the criticism a lot of the time from the fans. Now the people are saying, um, you know, now people are saying, oh, we should bring him back now. Because I don't know what, what makes people change their thoughts, their opinions. You know, they, the people that hate, like to criticise him, will probably say, oh, now we should have him back. But they'll probably, what happens if he comes back and plays and, you know, the team's playing badly, and then and, and Sean Johnson caught the blame again because that, that's what generally happens most of the time. But you know, look, as good as Sean Johnson is, he's a good player. I like Sean Johnson. I still do like Sean Johnson. I'm not, I'm not salty that he left and went to Cronulla because that was the club's decision. They decided at the end of the day, you know, they decided that was their decision that they wanted to go in a different direction, and he decided he wanted to leave to go to Cronulla, which I was happy for him because, you know, um, to go out of the Warriors, you know, very, to come out of the club Warriors who, who we are very, very inconsistent and, you know, I think, you know, to go to Cronulla and, and get away from, from that, from that criticism he caught when he was at the Warriors and, and stuff like that. But, you know, you know, Sean Johnson's a great player, good player. He can be good on his day, he can be very good. And, you know, I do would like to wish him the best well, whatever he decides you know but in my opinion personally I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the club's decision that they've turned him down and you know I, I think we should you know go after someone but I don't think Sean Johnson uh, bringing him back is the right move in my opinion so that's my thoughts on that you know I know a lot of people are going to come on in and disagree and say well why not why, why don't you want Sean Johnson back and all that but in my opinion, I don't want to. I, I'm pretty happy with the decision that the Warriors have made, you know, to to not um, bring him back because I I just think, you know, it's time to move on from the past. I mean, he was good at the, he was good when, when he was good, but you know, when he was with us as well, he wasn't consistent too. So probably a best idea for him is to go to an Australian team, 
you know, another Australian team who's with Cronulla or stay with Cronulla or, you know, go to somewhat Brisbane or somewhere like that, you know, so he doesn't, so he doesn't have to, like, be in the spotlight all the time, but that's my thoughts on that. Best luck to Sean Johnson and whatever decision he, he takes and, you know, um, still my, still one of my favourite players in the game, but, you know, I hope he can stay on the field and not get injured and, you know, then can be that consistent player and turn out to be the potential that he can um, be. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on the um, reports of um, Sean Johnson uh, being rejected uh, by the Warriors. Warriors rejecting um, the offer to bring Sean Johnson back to the club. Um, also, the second bit of news uh, today, also that Hayes Perham has been officially confirmed released um, by the Warriors to join the Parramatta Eels instantly. So it's already officially announced now. So as you guys probably know already, it, it was um, there was rumours reported a couple of weeks ago that Hayes Perham was set to leave um, the Warriors and it's now officially confirmed. So a good pick up there for the Parramatta Eels, a pretty good promising player, pretty gutting that you know, we, we, we don't want to keep him, but it is what it is at the end of the day. So, yeah, best of luck to Hayes Perham, and um, um, hopefully he does, does well with his new team, Parramatta. So, good luck to Hayes Perham in, in, the, um, in the Parramatta Eels team. So, yeah, let me know in the comment section below what are your thoughts on this bit of news today. One, on the Hayes Perham being released to Parramatta Eels effectively immediately. The other one is the news from last night regards to Sean Johnson rejecting a contract deal, uh, rejecting a um, offer from the Sharks to bring back um, Sean Johnson back to the uh, Warriors. And um, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. Channel's at 477 subscribers. So let's get to 500 subscribers in the next couple of weeks. Try to get to 500 subscribers. Um, if you aren't already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so if you're new around here. Also, don't forget to hit that like button on the video as well. That would be much appreciated. And yeah, go follow myself on social media at Warriors NRL Fanatics on Instagram. And I'll also put the link in the description below. Also, if you'd like to um, contact me as well, if you don't have social media, the email is warriorsnrlfanatics at gmail.com. If you'd like to ask me some questions, or, you know, if you would like to jump on the YouTube channel for a preview and review on the channel each week. So if you would like to jump on for, for you know, a chat about the Warriors, um, some tipping videos, you know, if you would like to join on one of those, make sure you contact me on my email or at Warriors NRL Phonetics on Instagram. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.